how do you think people will perceive you in this game? Cartoon character. This is like the unmade Polly Shore movie. You know, <laughs> yeah, like... The Biodome sequel that was never made. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Biodome. Outwit, outlast, outshred. Yeah, this is a large, <laughs> a very large Biodome, but you're essentially under one right yeah. now. But how people perceive me, I think, you know, hopefully, hopefully, I try, you know, to not be so judgmental these days. And hopefully, people just, uh, they enjoy the entertainment. And I hope. I hope, you know, if there's some kid out there who's insecure about picking up the guitar or is attached to the outcomes of life, to just remember everything's a journey, and I think the journey's more important than the outcome. How are you going to use that perception on the island? Are you going to be like, I'm the easygoing rocker guy, no one's going to see me coming? Yeah, definitely. That's how I've lived my life is kind of like that tarot card, the fool. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you're unabashedly yourself, you're super stoked, and, you know... I'm not going to hide behind my catchphrases or every, or anything, but it is who I am. Like, I'm not putting on a, a front, but I feel like there's a chance people are going to see me as this one-dimensional cartoon character and forget that, like, there's a self-aware and self-conscious human being under, and maybe the time to reveal that won't be when I'm in the middle of judgment, you yeah. know? So. so, the first thing people, when they look at me, they think that, oh, my God, he's 5'11", he, he looks all muscular, and they think that I'm I'm a very strong guy, and maybe a lot of people would 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 think that oh we we should vote him out. Yeah. So that that's a perception I just want to like, you know, navigate through mm -hmm. because uh, I don't know how much I need I should be disclosing about my medical history here. Whatever you'd like to do, yeah. You know I've dislocated my right shoulder ten times, and I had recently undergone a shoulder surgery to be on Survivor because that's how much I love Survivor. I think people will will probably get a read on me that I'm like at least like somewhat like book smart sounding at least. Um, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't like totally try to be, you know, that way. I don't think I usually sound that way. Um, but also I'm usually around like a lot of law students. So right. it's it's tough to say what people are gonna could think of me. They might hear me talk and be like, wow, this kid's a law student, you know? <laughs> and it's like, okay, there goes my lie. Um, so I'm just cognizant of people, you know, being, because uh, I don't think like necessarily being book smart is like the exact type of survivor smart that is the most threatening. Right. But people will use it no matter what. So I think that, um, that yeah, that's that's a big one for sure. Just maybe also just like kind of like the young hot shot, like mm -hmm. you know, people. I hope not, but I hope people might think I'm like arrogant or cocky. I, I am competitive, so I hope like it doesn't come off uh, in right. a in a sort of cocky way. Um, but yeah, those are those are probably the the couple things that I would think people would say. I think they're gonna look at me as a really great guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very personable. I love getting to know people. Mm -hmm. Uh, my entire life, I've been someone to accept everybody, and I thrive on differences. So, especially in a game like Survivor, everybody is so different, comes from a unique background. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to use that to my strengths and find who I want to work with as an ally, find their greatnesses, and exploit them. I know how I want to be perceived. Uh, apparently, I'm, I'm one of the bigger guys out here, which I didn't expect to be. I didn't, ex I didn't expect to be, because in my normal life, I'm, I'm surrounded by... You know, I, I coach, and so I'm surrounded by lots of other pretty big guys. And so right. I didn't think that I would be perceived as that. But all of a sudden now, that seems like how, how I'll come across. But I'm fine with that. I just really want to sell that I'm here to have a good time. Uh, you know, I, I'll be fine being labeled as just like kind of like a meathead. Kind mm -hmm. of, you know, doesn't understand the strategy a whole lot. It's just go with the flow, has a good time, wants to climb the coconut trees uh, and build cool shelters. Like that's what... I want to be perceived as. Yeah. So then, is there going to be a point where like the afterburners turn on? Yeah. Sort of yeah. like sort of like when Carolyn played the idol, where you're like, haha, all along, yeah, yeah. I've been the nerd in disguise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and even if that is a, a final tribal council reveal of, of you know what I do and and how my life has shifted and everything and what I am and and really up until that point, like you know, because you don't want to flame out too early. Right. There's a balance there. Uh, I am like I. I have to do some finagling before, like, early in the game. I don't want to be one who's pushing pretty hard, but I know that at least the pattern is people who aren't seen as, you know, challenge threats go off pretty early, but then right when the merge hits, it's like, boom, boom, boom. Like, like it's open season on me, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> and so that's where I, I've got to somehow work that to where even if it is open season on people that are perceived like me, there's more of us, mm-hmm. right? I've got to make sure that there's, you know, a larger group of us. And then from there, uh, really try to, to take control. Honestly, it's a thing that I've been like thinking a lot. And I think when you think about one person is going to be the winner and 19 of us are going to play a game, do you want to play a mediocre game or do you want to go balls to the wall? You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter how people perceive me I think I'm going in with like a genuine heart and I'm going in with a mentality of just having fun yeah and I think um if I have like strong alliances I'm very loyal Uh so if I have my alliances when I say the word like I trust you I'm I'm that person that no matter what it's not gonna break and like you need to know that my bond is like all I have basically Uh like my words are my uh, all I have and so I feel like what other people that's probably not in my close group or whatever I do to I I don't care how they perceive me because at the end of the day it is a game and if you're if you're okay with talking your way out of it at the end I think it doesn't matter right it's a lot of people get caught up at the final three Mm -hmm. talking their way out of it and that's what got them like you know people can perceive it if you don't explain it in a different light (sighs) I think once people start to talk to me okay I think you can already tell from like even nonverbal communication that I don't take myself that seriously. And mm. I'm like kind of, someone used the word frivolous. That's the word that my dad also likes to use sometimes. And <laughs> it's not the right word to describe me. I think I can come off as hapless and kind of fun loving and like very friendly. Mm-hmm. And that is a fine perception for me. Yeah. Is that something you're going to try to evoke? Yes. I don't want them to be like, she's smart. Like, I don't really think of myself as smart, but... I feel like I don't want people to think that. Yeah, I mean, we as a society like to look at decorated things. We like Christmas trees. We like the Sistine Chapel. (laughs) We like beautiful women with tattoos. It's really the the holy trinity (laughs) of spectacle. (laughs) Yeah, you know, I'm right there. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. You're the third corner of that triangle. (laughs) So, yeah, people are going to look at me, and I'm sure I'm one of the easiest ones to point out in the group. Like, the one with all the tattoos. I know that. I know what I look like. I am... I like what I look like. Like I'm, yeah. I'm no fool to that. So yeah, I'm sure people are going to perceive me as like probably a mixture of Jam Jam and Carolyn and think I'm really dangerous. And you know what? I am. So they're not wrong for thinking that. I, but that's yeah. up to me to be like, no, I'm stupid. Yeah, <laughs> I guess like, that's the question is like, how are you going to try to subvert that, steer away from that very dangerous curve? <laughs> I think I'm going to play up of being dumb a little bit. And then I think I'm really just going to go for the hard connections to the point where people don't want to get rid of me. They're like, no, I can trust her. I need her. I yeah. am vulnerable. Like, sh- I know she'll vote with me. And like, maybe they don't, you know, yeah. <laughs> but I need them to believe that. And I am good at making connections that's what I do in my job like anyone can cut hair trust me it's not that hard but it takes someone special to get someone to like feel comfortable and vulnerable and keep coming back to you I have clients that have been coming back to me for over 10 years okay yeah they keep coming back and that comes from me giving them a place to be vulnerable and safe and someone they like to be around I think that's important out here like we're gonna be starving and getting rained on and terrible like we're gonna need some morale okay and I'm bringing (laughs) I'm bringing morale (laughs) I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think they'll perceive me as a social player, someone who's fun, um, hopefully not too smart. Um, I actually have a master's degree in leadership. That's wow. the only thing I'm not going to tell people. Okay. Um, so I just, I know that I'm never going to blend in. I was born to stand out, mm-hmm. but I'm... I want to stand out in a good way. Oh, she's really friendly. She's personable. She's trying to get along. She's helpful to the tribe. You know, she's not the strongest, but she's not the weakest. Um, So hopefully I'll be able to assimilate myself rather than blend in. I think that's how people will perceive me. Hopefully until it's too late. Hmm, That's a really good question. (laughs) Hopefully they'll perceive me well. Um, I, I think I make connections with people pretty easily. Mm-hmm. I find myself to be funny, but maybe I'm the only one who's <laughs> <laughs> laughing at my own jokes. That's a famous last words. I think I'm pretty funny. I think funny. I'm pretty funny. <laughs> As they say, she's so annoying. <laughs> um, I think people will perceive me to be easy to get along with, easy mm-hmm. to work with, um, strong. I think my 
personality. Like, I am a very social person. Mm -hmm. I love talking to people. And I think I talk to people pretty well, Mm -hmm. to be honest. So I think if I get into that nerd perception, people are going to put two and two together and be like, well, she's smart. She can do puzzles. I like her. That's a red flag on Survivor. That's a one-way ticket to Ponderosa, my friend. Yeah. So I think... I'm almost trying to play that down a little bit. But at the same time, I'm okay to dork out. (laughs) And, like, what that means is, like, maybe I'm not talking about NASA or talking about how, like, I do the crossword every day. But I can relate to someone over if there are any fantasy people there. Like, I'm a huge – I play some video games. Yeah. Not that many. But, Mm -hmm. like, enough to make conversation with. And something I can lean into. I think that I'm – I will be perceived as a shield, Mm -hmm. but what they don't realize is I'm going to perceive a lot of them as my shield, and I Mm. have to talk. I have to make sure that they understand that that's what I am until it's too late. Yeah. Because there's going to be an opportunity that I've already built up in my head that if I can make it to 10, Mm -hmm. I'm good. And then if I can get to seven, game's over. Because I plan on winning challenges seven, six, five, and I'll make fucking fire at four. <laughs> Sorry for cursing. Uh, remember I told you, I do not have the first impression, I think, that according to my wife, that brings <laughs> yeah. cookies and milk on Sundays, right? Right, so brings I, you that party at home. <laughs> yes. So I think that this is, I think I'm going to have a really tough game. I'm not going to lie. I think the odds are heavily stacked against me. Interesting. I think that I, my likelihood, I analyze things. That's part of my other job. I think I have a very low outcome if I was to not play my... I have to play so hard to connect with people. If I don't connect with people, if I can't build a relationship with the... You know, using my words, because it's not going to be from... No matter if I win challenges, I know people are going to see me as a threat because my presence is a threat unless I speak to you. Yeah. And there, I already t- can tell you right now, I'm not the fastest... I'm not the fastest runner here. I'm not the fastest swimmer here. I'm not the tallest. I'm not the shortest. I'm not the strongest, right? So all we have is our bonds at this point. That has to be my bond. I think people are going to think I'm funny, that I crack a lot of jokes. I have to be careful with that because if I'm always like, if people think I'm looking to be funny and looking to be sociable too much, then that could be perceived as a threat or annoying. It could go either way, social contract. Um, But I think people are going to perceive me as smart, calculating, adept. Like, I'm not going to try to like, hide necessarily like all of my wits because I want Uh people to see me as useful as like contributing something Um, and we'll see how I do in challenges I personally think I'm strong I can hold a lot of weight you know things like that but I've never run a survivor challenge so we'll see what happens when I get out there and that'll also alter people's perception of me probably Uh, I think that they're gonna which I love me some Carolyn can I just insert that I mean absolutely I can't wait to meet that woman (laughs) and wrap my arms around her I love Carolyn to death and what was so great about Carolyn is that everyone thought she was all over the place she was crazy she was spastic she was all these things and she fooled almost all of you with a red X. Yeah. Like, she's playing the game. She has an idol she's told none of y'all about until she used it for Carson. She, y'all had no idea. And I think that people are perceiving me the way that I am, which is energetic, enthusiastic. I, I sing to myself all the time. Mm. I, am, I am, like, praying. I am thanking the Lord every second. I'm doing my little high yellow bullshit because I feel it. And that's just me. But I think that... They're going to write me off as, and I'm skinny too, so I I know that that's a perception I have coming in. So you you combine flamboyancy, you combine energy, you combine um, be sing-songy, and you combine being slender, and people write you off immediately. They go, he's weak. They Mm. go, he is bubbly and in his own little world, he's not real competition, and I hope that they do that. Well, I don't know what they're going to perceive me as, but what I hope they perceive me as. (laughs) There we go. Try to manifest it. I hope they think that I'm just like this really docile, sweet, and easy to beat artist who doesn't really know much about the game. But, Mm. you know, you can kind of take her along, use her for votes. I don't want to be perceived as somebody who's doing a whole bunch of overthinking and strategizing because those are the people that they want to get up out of here first. That's a tough one, man, because I think Jeff brought it up, you know, just, you know, prepping us. He was like, my whole team had no doubt about anyone here. You know, it's 100% we believe you should be here. So I could be perceived as a threat, but everybody could be the same as me in a different way. So I, I, I don't know. I might, I'm going to be perceived as funny. I'm definitely going to tell some jokes. Uh, as a good swimmer, 
a social thread. I get along with everybody, even those that don't get along with me. So people could find that um, threatening a bit. Ass. Oh my God. See, I hate this question because I feel like it's going to be negative. <laughs> I feel like people are going to see me and they're going to think, oh, she's some princess. She doesn't want to get her hands dirty. You know, queen of Sheba, whatever, whatever you may say. But that can be further from the truth. Like I can get my hands dirty. I handle my own shit. Like I'm a very independent woman. Mm. So I'm excited to, you know, flip the script and show people exactly what I'm made of.